Lord, you know what's special about today? Today is the solar eclipse. What are we eating today for the solar eclipse? Mom has all kinds of cool food for the solar eclipse today. How are you, Janae? Do you want to watch a solar eclipse today? It's a solar eclipse far. Is it far? Yeah. We can see it from our house. Uh -huh. We just have to look up into the sky. It's not... Things don't float up in the sky. So the solar eclipse stays on the ground. The solar eclipse is going to happen in the sky. No. Is that just silly talk? Yeah. Laura, what is a solar eclipse? You eat food there, like a restaurant. Mm -hmm. I'm so hungry. Should we eat some special solar eclipse breakfast? Yeah. All right, now Caleb, you're going to put butter on both sides of all the bread. You want to try and help out too, Laura? Yeah. Good job. Thanks for helping me make breakfast, you guys. Anyway, this is a pretty simple breakfast. Yes. So you stick the cake and egg. You put it in the middle. Good job, buddy. Like a pro. Wow. I <laughs> did awesome. Are these our Eclipse sunny side up eggs? So that's the moon. Mm. Perfect. We're putting in all the moons. Okay, with these being solar eclipse eggs, if the moon is the little piece of toast and the sun is the big part, what does the solar eclipse do? And then it goes off. So give it a try. Be the moon. Break the sun. Laura's just like, I want to eat the moon. Let's eat. She's eating the moon. <laughs> no! All right, so I'm running a little bit last minute today. I just decided on some plans I wanted to do for the eclipse last night, and so I'm running out this morning to the store to get them, and they're actually repaving the street right in front of our house right now, so I'm hoping I can get out. I think I can. dairy called Chateau Dairy has been making this limited edition Eclipse milk. It's a cookies and cream flavor and it's in like a dark black bottle apparently. Amazing branding. Anyway, they're flying off the shelves. Like I can't find them anywhere and none of my friends can find them anywhere because everybody's buying them. But since I was at the store, I had to check and see. No, not here. So instead I'm just picking up regular chocolate milk and we'll pretend it's Eclipse milk. It'll work. He's out here. He's ready. <laughs> They like your outfit, buddy. Since our street is getting paved, I had to park at the bottom of our street and walk the groceries all the way up to our house. Luckily, the kids came to help me, so it's only one load. You'll love to see our street. Does it look so nice? Uh-huh. Okay, everybody up the hill. Getting heavy? You can do it, girlfriend. Thanks for helping! Wow. 
Well, this is super disappointing. It looks like a big storm is coming. Like we can hear thunder. It's just like the Midwest. Probably gonna end up having a tornado during the solar eclipse. Of course, the way the weather is here, it'll be like rainy and then 30 minutes later, sunny skies. So we still have time. Hopefully this thing clears out. All right, so today is the solar eclipse. Have you guys heard about it? Yep. Yeah. Yes. We've been talking about it a little bit, and hopefully we'll get to see it if it's not raining or storming. So my first question. I hear some. You hear thunder? Hopefully the storm passes. We still have a couple we hours. We can look from inside. Yeah, but if the storm's out, we can't see the solar eclipse. Mm -hmm. You nervous about the thunder? No, I'm just helping her. I'm scared. Mm, it's okay. Hey, Janae, what's a solar eclipse? <laughs> Laura, what is a solar eclipse? I don't know. Caleb, what's a solar eclipse? Um, a solar eclipse, um, it is when the moon's shadow blocks the sun, so then it's dark in the daytime. That might have been the best description I've ever wow. heard. <laughs> well, learning activities are done. We haven't even started yet. Are you the sun? The sun is shining on North America. Caleb, bring on the solar eclipse. There's the shadow of the moon. Do you guys see how that works? Guys, it's turned to be the sun, and he's shining on America. Uh-oh, we had a Caleb eclipse. Oops. <laughs> there we go. And then, totality. You are completely under the moon's shadow, so it's not only safe, but recommended that you remove your glasses. So see, here's the sun and the sunlight. So it's starting up in Oregon, and then it's gonna go through Idaho and Wyoming, Nebraska, Kansas, look, there's Kansas City. So most of the activities that we do I find on Pinterest or hear from friends, but I'm really excited about this one because I actually thought of this one on my own. We're gonna make solar eclipse cookies. We're taking sugar cookies and cutting them out like this, and then we're gonna frost them with yellow so it makes the sun, and then we're gonna put Oreos on top of them like a solar eclipse. This is obviously an excuse to eat sugar cookies and Oreos, but I like it. This okay. is white cookie dough. It is. Usually we make brown sugar cookies. Good job. There you got two of them. Hey, do one more. Are my sons? Yep, those are going to be your sons. Oh, sweet. So those are going to be what I'm going to eat. You might just get to eat one. Girl, she is so close to crawling. Come here, Nene. Look at you scooting. Look at you. Oh my goodness. I mean, whoop. <laughs> yeah, she's been up on her knees. You guys watching Nene? Yeah. Okay, yeah. So so really yeah. Next up is a solar eclipse art project. Laura, we're gonna trace that circle first, okay? Did you do it? Laura, you actually got part of a circle on there. Good job. He's focusing. Yeah. So you take your moon that you just cut out and you put it on the sky. And then you choose some colors and you're going to color on top of it. Like this, you have to really push down. And then, ooh, I need a little bit of a darker orange. All right, ready? Do you guys wanna see my solar eclipse? Whoa! There it is. That is like the corona of the sun that we see as the moon moves in front of it. I'm gonna start with pink orange. Whoa. Nice. Ooh, that is so pretty. Well, the moon has begun to eclipse the sun. We can't see it though because it's raining. But we do have about an hour and a half until totality. We're hoping for the rain. The rain is dying down, like right now. It's starting to die down. 
Come on. No! It just started again. Out of nowhere. I was filming that like blue spot over there that looks like it could be not cloudy. And then the rain just starts like pouring down, mocking me. There are blue skies. The sun is right there. I can't see it, but it's close to be where we could see it. There is hope we might be able to see the totality. All right, gotta make some yellow frosting. I'm coming from around the world. Cub cub. Oh, from the purple crab. I got some on my thumb and my finger. Sometimes I get dirty. You gotta lick it off. It's a bummer when you get dirty. Partial solar eclipse, loving yeah. it. The sun is out. You can see my shadow. It's right up there somewhere. Oh, I can see it. I can barely see it through the clouds. How many of you got some of these goofy solar eclipse glasses? That's the poll question for today. Did you have these? What can you see through that? Nothing. Okay, you're not going to be able to see anything except for the sun. Where's the sun? All right, so the sun is right up this way. Can you see it? Yes. I can see it. That's so cool. I see the sun. Isn't that cool? Yeah. I saw it. I saw it. Yeah, I see the moon coming. Whoa. I literally. What? It's like moving really quickly. It looks like it, it's moving. You can see those are the clouds moving through the light. Whoa. We're doing Sunny D and chocolate milk for the solar eclipse. Ooh. Are we mixing it? I, that's what I thought initially. <laughs> I'm a mixer, I like mixing things, so I think it could work, but. No, that sounds so disgusting. It, it does, Sunny D and chocolate milk. I think maybe you can I just get to try choose which one they want. Okay, which one do you want, the sun or the moon? Chocolate milk. Chocolate milk. So we're having croissant chicken salad sandwiches and sun chips, and I'm on chocolate milk. I'm on the moon side. It's not dark yet, Caleb, because the moon and the sun are not together. When they line up together, it'll get dark, huh? Mm -hmm. It'll get dark. Completely dark. Really dark. As I think of it, is the moon and the sun are getting married, but only for two minutes. Yeah, then they get divorced. Yeah, they separate. <laughs> but then the lunar eclipse is when they're completely separated and they're total enemies. Whoa. And then, oh, the other a few enemies. years later, they get married again. And it all happens again and again and again and again. Sounds like we need to introduce them to Greek mythology. <laughs> I want to try mixing. I do yeah, too. Okay, we're going to do it. Let's try to mix it. I want to do it. Me too. Me too. You got the sun? And then the moon comes in. Oh, yum. <laughs> that just doesn't look good. Apparently milk is more dense <laughs> than orange juice. Let's see what the combination is like. Is it good? It's not bad. I actually really like it. No. Mm -hmm. No? Mm -mm. Okay, put some in mine. I like some. The total eclipse drink, patent pending. This one's different because I put the milk in first. first. I'm so excited! Alright, give it a try. It's really good. It looks like mustard. <laughs> it looks like mustard. What do you think, Laura? I love it! Delicious! I love it. No! Good. No! I'm going way. places with this, you guys. Yes! This is awesome! It actually doesn't taste like that mustard. Yeah, it's really just that classic flavor of chocolate and orange combined. Which that no, works. that's true. Chocolate, chocolate oranges. Orange. I was trying to be funny, but that's like a real thing. Chocolate and orange. Funny fail. Funny fail. This is good. You can actually see. You can actually see brown in it. See? Oh, you're right. I brown. can actually see brown in it. Disgusting, but it's actually you, it. you can do it. You can do it. So the kids, for some reason, want me to try this concoction. 
But I'm not super brave with food. The Eclipse drink. It's not bad. Think of that chocolate orange. You know. Good no? morning. No? I'm not on team Total Eclipse drink. Uh. Maybe if I could get out of my head about it. There's no clouds in the way of the sun and we're almost to totality. I am so excited. But I have to go down and get our van because we want to go to a park where we can like see the 360 sunset better. Well, we're heading to a local park where we think we're going to be able to see it pretty well, but it's really fun. Everybody's outside set up in their chairs. They've got their solar glasses on. This is fun. So to try to further protect Laura and Caleb, we put plates connected to the glasses like we stapled it to the glasses so they couldn't see through the bottom to try to look up at the sun. Do you see it? Mm. What's it look like? It's smaller. It's it perfect. Smaller. Yeah. It is. You look, up. look, it's, it's so it's close. It's oh my goodness. Oh my goodness. You can hear everyone. Oh my goodness. Woo! Look at it. Oh my goodness. Do you see the corona? Look at the sunset, you guys. But the camera can't pick up the experience. Taking off the solar glasses and seeing that is amazing. The, a star! It's so dark and, and it's not even two o'clock! It's moving! It's moving! Okay, everybody, everybody, put on your glasses. Yeah, it was just two minutes. Was that two minutes? That went by so fast. Well, that was really cool. I'm so grateful that the weather let up so that we could see that. That would have been so sad if it was going on behind the clouds and we didn't even get a chance to really experience it. Right now, we haven't even left and the clouds are already completely covering to where you can't see where the sun's at at all. Can I get us out? It's a bee and it's really big. It's about that big. Yeah, and it was bringing another dead bug into a hole. Mommy, be safe, don't die. I'm so scared of big bees. That's kind of creepy. Yeah. She's so pleasant to bring to dinner.